I love speed running. Don't believe me? Go to speedrun.com, check the Garden of Ban Ban category, scroll a bit, and boom, that's me. I lack the attention span to do any kind of impressive speedruns myself, but it's something I always love to watch. Minecraft speedrunning. Love him or hate him, you can't deny Masked Man Dream ushered in a new golden age of Minecraft speedruns. And then he cheated. Minecraft speedruns consist of creating a new world with default settings and reaching the end credits as quickly as possible. Minecraft speedruns take a lot of luck, but also a lot of flexibility and creativity to make the most out of every situation. Thus, no two speedruns are the same. The stands in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure have all sorts of very niche abilities, some of which could assist in completing a Minecraft speedrun faster than usual. I wanted to determine which stand could be used to beat Minecraft with the lowest time. The best stand in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure for speedrunning Minecraft. To be clear, Steve is the one with the stand, not the player controlling Steve, because that would be stupid. And this video is anything but that. A typical Minecraft speedrun can be broken down into the following steps. First, gathering materials. Second, entering the nether. Third, collecting blaze rods. Fourth, collecting ender pearls, typically through bartering with piglins. Fifth, seeking the end portal. And sixth, defeating the ender dragon, typically with beds. Of course, every run is different, and there's many more small nuances to these steps, but this is the basic order of operations. Shortening the time it takes to complete one of these steps lowers the time of the entire run. The more steps a stand is able to shorten or skip entirely, the better the final time will be. Now, with the basics underway, let's start with the fifth best stand for speedrunning Minecraft. Hello there. Okay, admittedly, this one's a bit of a stinker. I needed to come up with five stands to beat Minecraft, okay? It's harder than you think. Leave me alone. Rat is a big ol' sniper turret gun thingamabob. Having a gun in Minecraft is already pretty useful, but where Rat shines and the Emperor doesn't is Rat shoots corrosive darts, not bullets. These darts melt away at flesh incredibly effectively and grossly. I am not showing it because I want my ad revenue, thank you very much. So how does this help a Minecraft speedrun? The Ender Dragon. Rat would make quick work of the Ender Dragon, probably melting him in no more than a couple shots. This in itself not only cuts a chunk off our total time, but it also means we don't have to spend time gathering beds. It means farming blazes is gonna be trivial since you can just snipe them from safety. It means during the Ender Dragon fight, you don't need to waste time destroying the end crystals because the Ender Dragon will melt faster than the crystals will heal it. In conclusion, RAT! Pretty good for a Minecraft speedrun, but there's four stands better, such as... Hey, what you got there? Do you know what's better than guns in Minecraft? CARS IN MINECRAFT! Wheel of Fortune is a car stand. That's about it. Stands were much simpler back in the 80s. Cars go fast. The Minecraft world isn't exactly built like an American city, flat and car dependent. Even just a one block jump in Minecraft is one meter, meaning every one block change in elevation, the car is gonna have to basically go over a one meter tall curb. But this ain't no problem for Wheel of Fortune. Cause you see, this ain't no normal car. This is a supernatural car. One that can shapeshift to fit the current situation. For Minecraft, you just need like big monster truck wheels. There's a lot of distance to cover in a Minecraft speedrun. From the initial spawn, you'll usually want to run until you find a village. Then you'll need to run until you find a lava pool for the nether portal. And finally, you'll need to run until you find the end stronghold with your eyes of ender. Having a car to drive in would reduce the travel time immensely. You could argue that the time saved from the Ender Dragon fight with Rat might save more time than driving around in a car would. 
honestly, Minecraft speedruns are so luck dependent and every world is generated differently, so it's a bit of a coin toss. Coin toss. How did I mess that up? The downside of Wheel of Fortune is that cars are a bit big and clunky. You can't exactly take the car down into the end stronghold or drive it around the perilous precipices of the nether. So I got to thinking, what stand could do what Wheel of Fortune does, but better? I gotta get a closer look at this thing. <laughs> Oasis does what Wheel of Fortune does, but better. Mobility. Oasis liquefies the ground around itself, allowing one to swim through the earth as if it was water. Think of the shark fiend from Chainsaw Man. Sure, swimming is not as fast as a car, but the ability to swim through the earth is much more versatile. Have you ever maneuvered around the nether in Minecraft? It's hell, literally. It's some pretty dangerous stuff. Quite a lot of literal pitfalls that could end your run prematurely. The nether is generated like a big cave. It's full of massive walls that you'll either have to mine through or go around and a car would have a lot of trouble with both. But the ability to swim through the nether walls makes traversal easy peasy. It also helps with combat. When farming blazes, one could easily take cover in the ground below the blazes and pop out, swing, and dive back down for safe farming. Oasis also makes reaching the stronghold so much faster. Once you use Eyes of Ender to find the stronghold's location, it can be a real pain in the behind to actually mine your way into it. With Oasis, you can just dive right down to the stronghold. 9 out of 10 speedrunners recommend Oasis over Wheel of Fortune. Trust me, I would never lie. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting to the really good stands. The ones that turn a 3 hour run into less than a single hour, starting with... Speedruns are all about time. What if, throughout the run, you could constantly pause the timer? Maybe it's only for, I don't know, say 9 seconds at a time. But you can continue to pause and unpause the timer as much as possible for the entire run. The world stops time. Okay, I really do not need to have to explain the world. It is arguably the most recognizable stand in the series. At Dio's peak, the world could stop time for 9 seconds. As for a cooldown between each cast, we don't actually ever get a definitive answer. But hey, he really was spamming that on the staircase with Polnareff, so it really can't be that long of a cooldown now, can it? From this point, just perform the speedrun as you usually do. The time stops won't have too much of an effect on your run. It does make any combat easier and unfortunately would make bartering slower. But otherwise, you're simply playing a Minecraft speedrun with a broken timer. Call me Dream, cause I'm cheating time. But you know what? We can do better. A stand that guarantees you the world record in Minecraft speedrunning. But first, I gotta get ahead of the comments here. No. Number one is not made in heaven. I know you're already down there typing away as I'm saying this. Aw, oh, made in heaven's gotta be number one. No, stupid. If time is accelerating, then the timer too would be accelerating, dummy. To a living organism outside the acceleration, it would look like the run was super fast. But if you actually check the timer, you'll see made in heaven barely changed anything. The only difference Made in Heaven would make for Steve is that all the mobs are now so slow they're practically immobile. Which I guess makes blaze farming slightly easier. But then again, are zombies living organisms? Are skeletons living organisms? They are the undead, but some people would call them the living dead. But to call something the living dead is an oxymoron in itself and we can't have that now, can we? If you were going to comment something about Made in Heaven, just replace it with freaking epic video. Judgment can create whatever we desire out of dirt. 
The things judgment creates are indeed fake because, well, they're made of dirt after all, but for our intentions, that's fine. Take a look back at our order of operations for a Minecraft speedrun. That's a lot of steps. What if, after we gather our basic materials like beds for killing the Ender Dragon, we can skip all the way to the final step? Skip from the first step to the last step, ignoring all this middle crap. With judgment, Steve can sculpt Eyes of Ender out of the ground itself. With the Eyes of Ender, you could literally skip the entire game. Would Judgment's Eyes of Ender even work? If you throw them, would they even travel towards the stronghold? I don't see why not. We see that the gold Judgment can create has the exact properties of gold, and if it's able to replicate a human body, which is far more complex than a single eyeball that Steve can craft with a pearl and some Cheeto dust. I don't see what the problem would be. With Judgment, you can simply make as many Eyes of Ender as you want. Just grab some dirt from Spawn and oh, there you go, now get ready to head to the end. But what about the dragon? Well, take a little detour, gather some basic blocks, food and beds, and that's, well, that's really all speedrunners need to fight the dragon. There is no other stand more suited for speedrunning Minecraft than Judgment, because there's no other stand in the series that can cheat the game as hard as Judgment can. Although Dream probably could. Okay, like the video before you go, bye!